You by can, any chance, if I can ask you, during your entire prep, did you ever have a diet break, or did you just really just no prep the entire way through? I just had refeeds. That's I didn't have any. Make I didn't ever go up to maintenance or anything like that. No. Do you think it was more of a time issue? Like if you knew that time wasn't an issue, would you have considered doing a dieting break? I don't know. I was I wasn't like fat going in, but I mean, I was um. I was way too conservative out of the gates like that. The first, you know, when I was 24 weeks out or whatever, I was just like, okay, a pound a week could serve all your muscle when I probably could have got away with a lot quicker weight loss out of the gate and then kind of, you know, tapered that down closer to the show as opposed to the way I did it where, you know, I was pretty, pretty linear with my loss. And then even at the end I was losing, there were some weeks, you know, like, six eight weeks out maybe even four weeks out where i was losing over like a pound and a half which is definitely something i would not recommend i'd recommend that pound and a half two pounds be lost you know when you're at 15 percent body fat as opposed to five but i don't i don't know if the next time i hopefully the next time i prep i will have a knowledgeable coach so that would that would help like i'm really looking to tnt and 3d muscle journey of course it's a long long time away so a lot of things can change before then, but I say develop connections with them. I mean, I know Tyler Mayer personally, and I have to say he's a pretty awesome guy. So I mean, if you'd like, I'll shoot him a message or something, and you know, develop that connection. So at least it's not just like, oh, you, who are you? Who, you know, you're not randomly yeah. getting to know him throughout your prep. Yeah, it was, it was. Um, but I mean, yeah, the I went a little bit lower with my food than I thought I would. But of course, never getting that lean before. I had no clue what I was in for. But I didn't really have any major stall points. I mean, there were only a few weeks in my prep where I didn't lose any weight. So I don't know if I'm just have a a lucky metabolism or or what. And I, I mean, I did do quite a bit of cardio too, which I wasn't super pleased about. Like I think. During some parts of my prep, I was up to like three minute, like three or four sessions, like forty five minutes, which isn't crazy, but it's a, I mean, a lot more than I thought I would have to do. But um, no, I didn't take any diet breaks. I, I I know Lyle talks about that, and if you have a lot of time on your hands, then that's that's totally different. But like I was saying, I was just kind of in that zone where I was, um lose your weight so quickly and most of it was was coming with not a ton of strength loss so I didn't really feel the need to to make changes I guess that's good I mean for many people it just seems that they have you know trouble throughout prep if they have a sloth metabolism then yeah you know they would have to engage in just hours of cardio five days of cardio plus hit sessions afterwards which becomes a nightmare I guess I'm just one of the fortunate ones <laughs> I yeah, <laughs> considering that majority of people, I don't know. I just feel that some people sometimes put extra effort than they have to engage in at prep. Like I believe John Gorman, who's a prep coach of Team Gorman, wrote an article kind of comparing how many options you have to drop weight as a uh, using the analogy of a gas tank. So when you enter prep, yeah, you're not going to obviously start off the you know the gate with cardio this, but if you have a sloth metabolism, you know that's Your kind metabolism of metabolism is a furnace. <laughs> <laughs> then like if you're essentially if you have a sloth metabolism then right off the bat you're kind of going to have to engage in some sort of either a harsh deficit or not harsh but a bigger deficit than somebody with who doesn't have a sloth metabolism would or either engage in some sort of minimal cardio yeah i i, I want to say i've seen that video or i've seen something like i don't know who i don't know who i got this from but the analogy i i was was um a fan of was not to use all of your kind of ammo at once you know like like cardio is a bullet and a deficit to bullet and hits another bullet you could, you could even throw in like like stimulants another bullet and you don't want to come out week one of prep and be doing five sessions of list two hit 500 calorie deficit and a fat burning supplement you know what i mean you want to just use the use the tools as you as you go. You know, like milk milk uh, your deficit for as much as you can, and then add some cardio, and then 
milk that weight loss for as long as you can and then you know go a little bit deeper with calories and then kind of that's how I pretty much did it with my prep I just kind of did um, I started with a deficit and no cardio and I would add a little bit of cardio when I stalled drop calories a little bit when I stalled add a little bit of cardio so I, I favor a more of a moderate approach with with calories and in cardio I don't think that you a lot of people are like well I have my clients do a lot of lists so they can eat more but there becomes a point of like diminishing returns where five hours of lists a week just so you can have you know an extra pop tart isn't really worth it 